You're welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. My name is Glory Elijah and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. So before I continue into today's topic, I have a question of a video. If you have received any relief materials from the government in Nigeria, please drop a yes in the comment section below and kindly explain to us you know you don't really have to explain in details but just mention to us the things that you actually received because i am not understanding what's going on in nigeria at the moment anyways guys um first things first um president muhabadu buhari has extended um the shutdown in nigeria i mean places like lagos abuja and ogun state for an another 14 days so the lockdown was supposed to have ended today tuesday but yesterday evening about 7 p.m the president addressed nigerians again okay so he said a lot of things which um of course are true um they've been able to control the virus they've been able to do a lot he gave commendations to um the doctors the governors of different states the states that um initially had the lockdown gave commendations to them for their support for their um cooperation um thanked a lot of um private individuals that have contributed to the cause of defeating defeating the covid 19 in nigeria i said a lot of things which are all right okay we agree these are things that are happening but then us nigerians were waiting for that part where the president will address the issues that have been disturbing ogun state lagos state and ibadan but we did not hear anything like that okay so i thought i was the only one that was actually expecting the president to address those things but um when i went online i realized that hundreds thousands of nigerians were actually expecting the go and um, the, the president sorry the president to address um the issue but he did not say anything about it and then i'm wondering that okay fine i understand that um a lot of presidents around the world they have um script writers of course it's actually really really necessary sometimes for um reference sake i know even the president of the u.s has a script writer so it's no news that our president should also have a script writer there's nothing wrong with that but then um I am thinking that whoever the scriptwriter is, of course, should be aware of what's going on in the news, should be aware of what's going on in Nigeria. The president probably is really, really occupied with so many other things and is not really aware. I'm just giving him that benefit of doubt that he's probably not aware of what's going on in his country. So whoever the scriptwriter is, yeah, the person should be social media savvy and should have been following up trends you know and hashtags of things that are actually going on in lagos ogun state and ibadan regarding the robberies that has been going on the 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 um jungle justice that has been happening you know from residents of those areas as a result of panic and fear and so this let's assume that this script writer has actually taken out time to create that script let's say two days ahead because rumor has it that the script has been prepared about probably five days earlier or two days earlier who knows and um all those things started happening couldn't the script writer have actually created space on that script and added all this extra information into it so that the president will actually address the issues or probably discuss it or his advisors probably discuss it with him i don't know but at least just to show that you actually um you actually are sympathetic to the plight of your citizens you actually are sympathetic to what's going on right at least mentioning it talking about it and assuring the people that you have put measures in place for these criminals these robbers to be apprehended at least it would have given the people a sort of hope to understand that okay we have a leader that's actually following what's going on with these people and we actually have a leader that's actually that, that that actually cares about us but i was actually surprised that my president your president did not say anything about the robbers ongoing at ogun states places in lagos states and even ibadan i'm wondering like okay um <coughs> what was the address about again just to announce that um, there's going to be another 14 days extension which i have a problem with because the first 14 days extension was literally a struggle for all nigerians in fact nigerians were actually battling between another pandemic called hunger 
So we're battling the hunger pandemic and the COVID-19 pandemic. Social distancing, lockdown, isolation, quarantine, all of that. Those were the catch words for the past 14 days. And we were scared to come out. Now remember, I've said this several times in most of my videos, that the population of Nigeria, uh, I think about 50% or if not more, comprise of those people that actually live from hand to mouth these are people that if they not if they do not have like a daily human interaction they will not earn a living these are people that are traders market women these are people that can only survive by doing a menial or petty job in a particular day in a particular moment so people are indoors and then they're battling with coronavirus and then they're also battling with hunger and then the president also said something quite interesting so he said that um, palliative measures have been put in place for um, initially the plan was for 2.6 million households but now they're adding another i think 1 million or 1.6 million households to also benefit from um the social investment scheme that um the, the government is actually handling and i am wondering that okay this 2.6 million people i have never heard of anybody that has come online or anywhere oh, okay let's assume that the people that have been given these um, benefits are not online but then there are no records we have not heard of anything we've not heard anywhere where anybody has come to say oh Thank you, government. Oh, I have received them um, the bag of rice. So I've received the twenty thousand. Oh, I've received the thirty thousand. Oh, we've not heard of anything of such. No records whatsoever. No evidence. We need to see evidence. Nigerians need to know that our president, our government, are not are not joking with us. Yes, the president mentioned yesterday that COVID nineteen is very serious. This is not a joke. Yes, hunger too is not a joke. Hunger is not a joke. Okay, maybe the president doesn't understand. Let me say this again. Let me say this again. COVID-19 is not a joke. Yes. Hunger is not a joke. I hope I, I've been heard loud and clear. Yeah. Hunger is not a joke. Hunger can kill people first. In fact, way, way quicker than COVID-19. I'm not saying that COVID-19 is not serious or not real. COVID-19 is extremely real. People are dying. But first of all, we need to understand that for people to be able to practice social distancing, for people to be able to self-isolate, they need to have food. They need to have electricity. And that was how last week uh, the president announced, or the government, I don't know, but I can't remember who announced that, oh, they've been speaking with PHC and that's the, the, the body in charge of electricity in Nigeria, that for two, three months, they should give Nigerians free electricity. Hey, till now, I'm still buying credit on my meter. Eh? See now, there is no free electricity. In fact, yesterday, a lot of Nigerians could not even watch the presidential address because the moment they switched on their TV to the channel that's about to broadcast it live, Nepal took the light. Yes, yeah, so that's the reality of Nigeria. So if we are having another 14 days extension on this isolation, lockdown in Lagos, Abuja, Ogun State, please, Mr. President, we need electricity. Without electricity, we cannot pump water. So we need electricity that will help us have water. We need food. Please. We have had billions of donations from people around the country, from millionaires, from billionaires, from banks, from private institutions. We've had a lot and lot and lot of medical supplies donated. Can we start reaping the benefit of those donations now, please? The 2.6 million households, I am not part of them. I have not received a cobo from any government agency. I am even expecting that, oh, just because the banks, the government, they have my BVN number. At least I should be able to receive that alert of 20,000. It will go a long way to help my life. After all, it's social distancing we're practicing. I am not going out. So with 20,000 era, I should be able to at least buy some basic things in my house. Yes, but... I have not received anything so please as i asked earlier from the beginning of my video if you have received any relief material please mention in the comment section below i am really interested i want to know where you received it from so that me too i will know how to scream louder than this to get my own because this one that 2.6 million households i get to receive any relief materials i wonder who they have given it to and I'm wondering which extra one, uh, one point something or one million households are getting these relief materials. Honestly, yeah, everything is not a joke. Everything is not a joke. But does the president actually think that we are actually opening our mouth like this for air to enter? 
So the next 14 days, we are going to stay like this. Open our mouths. Let breeze enter. After all, it is breath of life, Abby. Okay, we are going to open our mouth. Breeze will enter. Heat will kill us inside the house. We'll stay inside the house and we're like, okay, yes. Social distancing. Social distancing. We shall not die of hunger. We shall not die of coronavirus. It's all a freaking joke. It is all a freaking joke. Honestly, other countries, other countries that have more extreme and severe situations, they've been able to provide for their citizens so that their citizens will be able to adhere better to the instructions of staying indoors. But Nigeria, you keep on extending the days. I'm not saying there's anything, and there's anything wrong in the precedent extending the, the isolation days, okay? But the reality is people are hungry. People are scared to come out of their house or, 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 or to even sleep in their houses. People are panicking. Why? Because people are hungry out there. And because of people are hungry out there, they've used this period to their advantage to start robbing, to, to, um, to start robbing and, um, and just wrecking havoc on people that are hopeless, that are helpless. And then aside that, what's going on? Jungle justice. Any criminal that is caught is macheted on the spot, is killed on the spot. Dear Mr. President, if nothing is done about this, trust me, there's going to be a crazy riot in Nigeria. I'm talking about in Lagos, in Ogun State, in Ibadan. There's going to be a mad riot. And at that point, nobody will be able to control it. Yes, I'm not trying to predict negativity, but this is what's going to happen. So, Issues that I have raised on this video, Mr. President, with the extension, please, can you kindly provide us free electricity as you have mentioned before last week? We need it. Aside that, those relief materials, all those donations that have been given to the government, please, can we, humble Nigerians, have a share of it so that we'll be able to live comfortably while we wait out um, the defeat of this COVID-19. That's the second thing. The third thing is, please look into this issue of robbery that's currently going on. This is another disaster. Eh? I was even thinking that, okay, we're actually dealing with hunger pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic. We're dealing with robbery pandemic. That is another pandemic that Nigeria is dealing with. So please, can you look into it? Can you address it? Can you do another address? This time around, please, sir, you do not need a script right now. Please, you can just address the nation and let them know that, oh, you are looking into the matter. You have our best interest at heart. That's the third thing I have addressed in this video. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said earlier, oh, please, if you have received any relief material, if you re received any money in your account from the government, kindly comment in the comment section below. Let me believe at least that, yes, these things are being done as they are being said. That's all I have to say for this particular episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.